purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to create, save, and submit a Visual Basic program to Blackboard. First of all, I assume that you already have it, Visual Basic, installed on your computer, and that there is an icon for starting it. You see it has a kind of an obtuse name here, uh, but it should be on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, search through your files, use your search facility, find it, put it on your desktop and you'll be up with us. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a better name. I mean, uh, that's a silly name. I'm going to call it Visual Basic. And that way I don't have to memorize the icon. I mean, it'll be correct. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a space for my programs, for all of the programs that I'm going to write in this class. And I'm going to do that, I'm going to keep it on the desktop so it'll always be nice and easy to find. So I'm going to right click on the desktop, go to New, select Folder, and create a new folder. And again, I'm going to give this a name that will tell me what's in it. And I'm going to call it Visual Basic Class Projects. Okay, and that's going to be where I'm going to put all my programs. I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing, of course, we need to do is start Visual Basic. Very simply, the splash screen goes flying by, and you see the Visual Basic start page, okay? Notice that you have choices, new project, open project. Uh, those are the only two we'll be using in this class. You will use open project when you're working on a project that you started before and saved. But, of course, we're going to start with a new project for now. Okay, now we see a dialog box here that's asking for some information about what kind of program you or project you want to start. Notice Visual Basic is not the only one. There are other languages available. We won't be using them in this class, but you should know that if you want to do a little JavaScript or a little C Sharp or a little C++, you can do that. Okay? Again, not in this class. Uh, at the beginning, all of our programs will be what are called Windows Form forms applications, and these are uh, programs that are designed to run on a Windows computer, on a standalone computer. In other words, these are not for the internet, this is for your computer, and what you're going to create is actually a standard Windows program. Now what you want to do is you want to give your program a name. Now, Visual Basic automatically gives it a name, but that's not going to tell you what it, what it is. What we're going to do is we're going to call this program Hello World. One. Now, you should know that if you have ever learned another language or ever will learn another computer language, the first program you always learn is called Hello World. It's a program that simply has the computer output the words Hello World onto the screen. And the reason that it's used is because it is the simplest of all programs. There's only one command, and it, you know, yet I can illustrate to you how to, how to create a program, okay? So uh, I give it a name, and then I click on OK, and within a second or so I will see what is called the Visual Basic IDE. That's Integrated Development Environment. It means this is where you create your program, you design your program, you debug your program, you do everything right here in one spot. This is not how we used to do it in the old days, okay? Now in order to create programs in Visual Basic, you need to use tools. And your tools are always kept in the toolbox, which you see here. And so I'm going to click on that to show you some of the kinds of tools that are available in Visual Basic. I'm not going to explain them all now, but you should recognize, you should know what a button is, for example. You know what a checkbox is. These are all pretty much what you expect in a Windows program. And these are all of the things that you will use to create your Windows programs. Now, I like to have that toolbox available all the time, so I'm going to pin it to my interface, and that's this little thumbtack here. Now that, from now on, when I open Visual Basic, that toolbox will always be there. What you see here is, is, is called a form, and all programming is done on the form. The form contains everything that's in the program. Again, the simplest program to write, we're going to write by simply pointing to any place on the form and double-clicking. And what you're going to see is the the code editor part of the IDE. This is where you enter your code. Notice that uh, the cursor is blinking exactly where you need to write your code, which is very handy. Okay. 
So uh, again, without uh, going into great detail, I'm going to simply type in message box show and hello. I'll put a comment here. Now, notice that that Visual Basic did a lot of the work for me. I don't know if you could really tell that, but when you do this, which I'm going to ask you to do, you'll see it. And so this is the entire program, one, one command, and it creates a thing called a message box, and it, and, it, and it shows it, shows it on the screen. And in that message box will be the words, if we did everything right, hello world. Now, of course, before we submit our program, we want to make sure it works, and so we hit the start and this will test the program, and you can see that it correctly does exactly what we wanted it to do, which is to display in a message box, this thing is called a message box, you've seen them before, hello world, and we can click OK and it goes away, and then you just get rid of this Windows form, it's just really not important why that was there, we'll explain that some other time maybe. Okay, so you've got it, you've got a complete project, it works, you're ready to submit it. Okay, the first thing you have to do is save it. You want to do save all. Okay, you want to save everything, the entire project. Notice it already knows the name, and the location might be anything, but you want to make sure that the location, you know, click browse, go to your desktop, go to your class projects, okay, and that is going to be where you want to save all of your projects because it will be easy to find, okay. Now, notice that Visual Basic will by default create a subdirectory for each solution. That's very important that that be checked and it will be by default. Okay, once the project is saved, we're through in Visual Basic. Now we need to determine how to submit it to class. Not as easy as you might expect. Now I assume most of you know how to submit a file to Blackboard, uh, but the question is, what file? Well, what do I mean by that? Well, open up this uh, folder and take a look at this. There's a folder within that folder if I open that, there's another folder and some other program. And if I open that, there's a bunch more. And I open that, there's a bunch more. So that, you know, I need all of those files. I need you to submit the entire folder. Okay. So this folder here the, that you first saw when you clicked on the folder, that's what needs to be submitted. Now, in order to do that, you must create a zipped file or a compressed file. It's really difficult to do. Point at it. Right click, send to compressed zipped folder. That's it. It immediately creates a zip folder. And you have to be careful. Notice it has the same name but a different file type. Okay. This is the file that you must submit to class. The compressed zipped file. When you send it to me, then I can open it and I will be able to run your project just as you did in class at home and make sure that it works. That's how I grade them. Okay, so you need to submit the entire folder. Okay, I hope that uh, covers the, the, the goals, and you should now be able to open Visual Basic, create a simple file, folder, a project rather, save that project, and submit it on Blackboard. Have a great day.